Hey guys and welcome back to our playthrough of Spyro Reignited. Uh, we're carrying on straight on with the Dreamweaver's world uh, this afternoon, playing Lofty Castle. So here we go. Um, but yeah, this, this level I guess really sums up the the cuteness of Spyro, I guess. Um, yeah, there's definitely something very whimsical um, about Lofty Castle. I mean, the music's very, very sweet. There's, and you've seen a minute. There's enemies with big height, or well, like balloons, just over there. Um, yeah, it's a random one, but I, I do like this. Um, so I guess the first thing this level is famous for are these Nork enemies. The trick for dealing with them is just like that, you've got to pop the balloons so that Norks fall to their death. So yeah, well, it looks kind of cute and fancy. Um, yeah, it's not not very nice on Spyro's half, I guess. Right, so I'm just trying to get my bearings. There's, there's loads of different floating islands in this in this level. So it's quite easy to get lost. Um, just need to deal with the enemies first so we don't get stuck. Well, that's close. So another thing this level has, um, oh, are these cages, if we break them, we release a fairy, and as fairies travel to these these platforms I guess, uh, once you release three they start a whirly gig, and that takes you to the next part of the level, so there's a few of these at this, well, for, as you mentioned come to it, but yeah, you need to free all the fairies before you can continue into the next area, so we're just going to do that now. Um, Let's do a bit of a side glide here. Actually, too far, I could have popped him on the way down, but play it safe and that. Okay, so yeah, we will come to those floating islands a little bit later on. As we were saying, uh, the fairies have now activated this spiral, so we're going to jump over into this one. And that takes us to the first dragon. Fairies are always on your side, Spyro. Oh, look at that. He had a little, little doll. <laughs> yeah, as you said, fairies are on your side. Um, they don't actually give you any powers in this level. It's not like um, Haunted Towers, like you saw last time. Um, but yeah, they help you in other ways, which is always good, I guess. Okay. This is just an optional bit, you drop down here to get a few more gems. It's not actually essential to go forward. But while we're here, we should grab everything we can. It's just kind of good to do it now and not come back later. Because that's the second ferry. Actually, that's random. I've never seen a, a one pop up chest like that. There, there must be for the game. <laughs> I just don't remember seeing one. Yeah, it's normally their higher denominations, like 5 or 10. Anyhow, all this does take us back up to the high level and back to the dragon. So, if we continue as normal, this will be the next part of the level. Okay, two paths. We can head left or right here. I'm almost tempted to go left at this bit because I think we can come back. Oh, that's close. Maybe later on. Be easier to charge one at once. Okay, so I think this is the lofty castle, what, well, upper level, I guess. Um, we're just gonna head inside. There's an, like, again, another spiral section. We will use this to essentially break these these fairy boxes. I think what I'll do first is just grab all the treasure down below. You'll see why. Oh, that's not good. Actually, I don't think he registered them, but obviously it did. <laughs> okay, so we'll try, to, well, we'll try to do this in the first, you know, the first run. Um, it's a little bit tricky in the same because Spyro, um, well, I feel like he glides a bit heavier. Um, gravity affects him a little bit more than he used to. So, yeah, we're playing all the fairies. 
just like that. I've got the enemies at the same time. So my amazing spiral skills got me through there. <laughs> to be fair, I wasn't expecting to do it first time. Yeah, that just takes us to the next dragon. Ah, Spyro. Thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle too. See where it takes you. I forgot about supercharge. To be honest, it's only a very short segment in this game, uh, or this level, uh, compared to like treetops and haunted towers. But yeah, I'm gonna give this a go. Hopefully, I get this right the first time. Bit of a tight bend. Oh no! I was inches short. Thank goodness for this dragon. Um, funny enough, it felt like a, a good run then. Yeah, just, as I said earlier, like gravity does affect Spyro a lot more in this game. So it's probably just a case of. Whoops, sorry, shot that. There you go. So, okay, second time lucky. Um, all you do is just follow the track around over this hidden platform. I don't think there's anything more to this really. This is, uh, the the supercharge sec section is very, it's very short. Nope, I think we're good. Anyway, that takes us nicely to this lock chest we saw earlier. We have the key now, so that makes it a little bit easier. And because we've already sorted out the spiral, it should be ready for us. Okay, so now onto the right path this time. Let's touch that arrow. Flame on! Actually, I think it's meant to wait for that one. That's a bit, a bit further down. Let's do a quick sweep of treasure, grab the fairy, and then I'll grab the dragon. Thank you for releasing me. Okay, dragon a few words there. Uh, right, so I think this is Glide. Yep. Let's be quick, grab that one. So we're missing one fairy. Ah, there you go. I'm sure one of these sticks is at the end of the level. I think it's this one. Okay, moving on. That's where you're meant to go. So I technically wasn't meant to glide to that platform. Is this the end of the level? No, it can't be. No, I'm a bit ahead of myself here. Oh, okay, right, that's another long glide. I should make that one fun, that's not too bad. Okay, so that's the third ferry, let's go back to the main island. So there's lots of toing and throwing in this level. And two more devils. Hopefully it won't miss. Hopefully it won't miss, hopefully it will miss. I don't want to, I don't want to get hit. I come out wrong. Let's jump. Nicely, so that's basically where we start the level. We're now going over here. And as I said, there's return home. <laughs> it is there somewhere. I guess it's yeah, much the same. Um, just look up some more balloons, free some fairies, and probably get out of here. Yeah, actually, I, I, I do a lot of lofty castle. It's a, a yeah, a nice welcome break because I, I, I do find the the dream moves levels a little bit trickier than the rest of the game. I mean, it's actually as you'd expect. It is later on, on in the game. You kind of yeah, got for the worst of it. Yeah, something quite calm and cute, I guess, about this level. Nice, right, so there's a lost ferry. Literally towards the end. So we've seen 15 gems. Hopefully they're up there on that platform. We'll soon find out. Yep, 10 and 5 makes 15. Sweet. So that's what we're done in Lofty Castle, let's head right home.
everybody, so I'll be back in a few moments as we take on the boss battle of Dreamweaver's Jax. Okay then, so here we go. Right, so unlike Lofty Castle, there's a massive shift in tone in this level. Um, I used to find the enemies in this level really scary. Um, I don't think they're meant to be ogres or... I, I don't know really, they're, they're quite gremlin looking. <laughs> yeah, you've seen them in it. But yeah, this level is a boss battle, um, as before. Um, it makes use of the full mechanic again. So when you flame them, there's normally a mechanical impact. It's normally platforms of some sort can smooth. Um, so generally it's the that's with like the fall closest to the platform will make that platform move, I guess. Yeah. It's weird as well, this level is um well, when I used to play the original it, it reminds me an awful lot of, of Easter time. That sounds pretty really random. So I have a very strong association of this level with I guess yeah, Easter eggs, hot cross buns. It sounds really random but yeah. Especially when I play the original game it's it's so much more vivid. So I think what we're going to do here, um, we will head probably up here first. Um, I might grab the chair one because the more I can do, well, if, if I do die, the less I have to do to backtrack. You'll see why in a minute, there's an awkward bit of gliding later on, and a full puzzle. We have to fling a pool that doesn't lift the right platform, or at least the platform you don't expect. Put that way. chest and um, just down here is Jax. I'm not going to go down there just yet because I, I think you can return but yeah we'll, we'll head that way when we're ready to finish. Let's grab this to it once. That was lucky. We charged off the edge. Just being a bit eager that's all. Right let's try and position myself against the wall so it doesn't... There you go. Let me strike first. Always a less risky strategy. Oh, there's so many odd, tricky glides in this bit. Oh, there you go. So it's too far to jump and not far enough to glide. That's a problem. Right, both ones spread in. That's what I wanted. So that's a double stacked full puzzle, I guess. That leads us to the key. So we have just done that one. Both together, so works my favour. Okay, so this key unlocks this chest that we just passed earlier. But we'll do that now before we forget. And grab some health. Yeah, as I say, it's not a very long level. This it's just um, I don't know. There's bits I don't like. The boss is quite tough as well. Anyway, we'll grab this guy first, we have to charge this piece really quite quick. And we'll grab him, ignore these, I'll come up to them later, I know it's not the right thing to do. Ooh, we're just gonna burn here. Ooh, okay, so sorry to rush. Um, the reason why that is, is this platform is well, it's normally raised rather than being lowered. And when you hit that fall, it lowers the platform to reach this section. So we'll grab the first dragon and yeah, we'll continue on. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. Yeah, good man is there. <laughs> okay, so... As you might remember from Lofty Castle, um, it's a bit of a gliding puzzle again. I'm gonna try and get all, all these enemies on the go. Oh, touch around there. I don't think I did it, I guess, but I think there's a trophy for it if you do it in one glide. And I've not got that trophy. You must have been touching that platform that has <laughs> stopped it. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll come back for it later. It's no trouble. Okay. 
and a quick hop, skip, jump into Spiral. Hopefully I make this one again, it's a very long glide. Oh, that doesn't feel good, and I moved as well then. No, I didn't think I was going to make it then. I say knock the joystick as well. It threw me off. Yeah, no, but yeah there's not much to this secret section. It's, it's more really to do with the um, getting the gems than the second dragon. Let's grab a checkpoint. I guess we do die. Oh, that's me just saying. Oh, thank goodness for that. I did touch the dragon platform. I'll tell you what I couldn't see. There's an awful glare on my screen, and I couldn't see the gap. <laughs> so I just thought it was an extension of the ledge. Let's go to the nearest to us. That's more like it. I don't like this enemies there. On a high ledge, but you can't play them. So you've got to awkwardly proc S, X and square at the same time, it's, it's not very easy. Okay, I think it's a sweep of the treasure that we missed earlier. I think we should be okay now to head down to the boss arena. Just a quick look. Oh yeah, Sparks is pointing that way, so it's, it's all good. Red gems and steps, let's not miss those. I think it's another dragon, we'll grab this first, for another checkpoint. Any advice before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Uh, huh? Flying boxes indeed. And just had a case of the old good old knitting there as well. Oh, fl uh, see, I just ignored that vice. No. Probably get smacked a couple more times in this bit. Um, to be fair, I don't actually know what this boss does really. You just have to chase him. Oh, there you go. Flame him when he gets to the dragon box. To be fair, he's very easy. If you're quite quick, you can get to him before he throws too many boxes. Oh, let's slow then. But yeah, as as you can see, Jack is a Jack in the box. But it's so of course the developers already knew that. Make use of that pun. Ah, there you go. That's him done. Let's say all in all, quite a straightforward boss really. Okay, let's ship the last gems. Yeah, brilliant. Is it short and sweet? We're going to head right on home now. Okay, so that brings us nicely onto the last level of Dreamweavers. Uh, we're now going to take on Icy Flight. I'll see you, see you in a few moments. Right then, let's jump straight back on. It's been quite a long time since I played this level, really. I think because it's so near the, the end of the game, you don't play it very often. But I think I do remember you kind of have to double back on yourself and... Well, I don't think this is the right way to do it, but it's the way I know. <laughs> a bit that way. There's one more chest that we left behind, but if we grab that now, really, really quickly... We should have enough time to grab the last of the chests and the lighthouses, which are more or less in a straight line. So, what happened there? I don't know what's why I did then. It's rather fancy. <laughs> kind of threw me off. Okay, so we should be kind of meeting a, a train. Maybe through the tunnel. Oh, there you go. As expected. Um, slightly to low, we're just going to grab the. a few helicopters and walks just here. I think there's one more I missed. Brilliant. I think the rest of them should be the trains. If I go against the tracks, it should be fine because they'll, they'll meet me. Oh, 
against Slight Detour. Let's scrap these, these guys. As I said, it's probably not the most efficient way of doing things, but... It's the way I know. So we'll go with that. I've got 11 seconds left. There's one more train. Hopefully it's not too far. Oh look at that, 0 0.9 seconds. That was so close. Oh my goodness. Right, get out there really, really quickly. <laughs> I guess that brings us to the end of Dreamweaver's homeworld. I'll be back in the next episode as we take on Nasty's world, the final, I guess, set of levels in the game. So yeah, thanks again for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, or leave any comments below. See you soon.